What is up guys, Drake here with WCCF Tech TV and today we have a little bit more information from AMD following their capsaicin and cream event. This event was live streamed on February 28th and today I have a recap for you guys today on the event. Let's get right into it and I hope you guys do enjoy. So let's get right into it. GDC 2017 did kick off yesterday and we saw media events from both AMD and Nvidia. While we already have the video up about the GTX 1080 Ti, AMD was rumored to finally reveal some details about their upcoming Radeon Vega GPUs set to release sometime this year. While most of us were looking for some numbers, specs, or just some sort of release date about these Vega GPU cards, AMD kept pretty quiet and mysterious about this one. So Raja Kadori, Senior Vice President of Radeon Technologies Group, presented some quote-unquote spicy info for us today at the Cape Station and Cream event. This info turned out to be not too revealing, however, as he basically just told us that the new AMD Vega card will not be a number model name. Instead, it will just be called the Radeon RX Vega GPU. We also finally have some release dates of these cards, and it looks like Vega will be AMD's next flagship card, but they also have some more stuff coming out soon as well. With a new report out, it is said that AMD will refresh the Polaris line of GPUs into the RX 500 series, and this will be cards such as the 570 and 580 and so on. The set release date for those cards is April 4th. There's also a release of the RX 550 and 560 set for a week later on April 11th. Now, while that's not a lot of information at the moment from Kadori, we did get a little bit more information about the actual Vega architecture. AMD detailed several new features that will be packaged inside the brand new Vega GPUs that will be integrated into Enthusiast Class Radeon RX Vega graphics. Some of these features include NCUs, next generation compute units, high bandwidth cache controller, rapid packed math, Radeon virtualized encode and fine tuned, multi GPU support on modern APIs such as DirectX 12 and Vulkan. All these new technologies and features from the upcoming Vega architecture and it's easy to see how good things are looking for AMD's graphics cards. It's obvious that they are focusing in on having new technologies implemented into their graphics cards made for the future. It's apparent why they are still yet to release a direct competitor to the GTX 1070 or 1080 and it's because they are working hard to make sure that this GPU is made for the future and I think that is an exciting thing to keep an eye out for in the future. That is going to wrap up this video. We just wanted to bring you guys some info about AMD's new reveal live from GDC 2017. Be sure to keep an eye out for more info from GDC 2017 only here on WCCF Tech TV. Thank you for watching. Signing off, this is Drake. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.